Hey, how's it going guys? This is Frank from the BI Forums, and in this Alma 3 video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a stress test and examination of my settings for the video settings in Alma 3 to see how this game runs while recording. Was I want to improve the quality of my videos, but at the same time maintain 60 FPS. So right now I'm playing at 4K resolution. Or at least I believe that's what this does. The sampling is set to 200%, which I'm pretty sure sets it to 4K. And the textures are set to ultra, which means we have the best visual fidelity as far as the textures go, which makes a big difference. If we set this to, to low, look how shitty this game looks, I swear. It probably doesn't even affect my performance that much. Wow, it doesn't feel, it actually feels slower. It's so weird, I don't get it. But anyway, I think um, if you set your texture to low, then your CPU starts to work on the textures, or at least that's how it used to be in the alpha of uh, Arma 3. They may have changed that, but if that's still the case, then that's retarded. Anyway, moving on, we have all uh, objects set to low. I could set this higher, but it affects performance, and since we're in a jungle where things are close quarters and all that, there's no need to set that higher. Terrain, we'll set this to low, and you can see that there's going to be a huge difference in performance. When you turn the grass off, there is an absolute huge diff huge difference in the performance. It's smooth as butter right now. Except when I look over here. Not sure if that's something to do with my track IR, or if it's there's actually a lot of stuff being rendered in this direction. Anyway, I'm going to play on standard uh, terrain setting. Shadows are on low, and this is because... Uh, let's get a better example. Look at the edges of the shadows here. Stand up. Demonstrate this. Now look at the edges of the shadows all over here and over here. This is all the shadow distance, uh, quality effects, really. That's the only difference. I'll show you again. And that's it. It's really not worth it. That it's really not worth that performance. It, of course, like turn off the shadows and you'll feel a huge difference in performance, but we're just gonna keep the shadow on low. Our short shadow draw distance is set to 200, which is the maximum value we can currently set in Armor 3, and that's really this is better to set to 200 rather than setting this to 100 or 50 and then shadow to ultra. That'd be retarded. So instead, play. I would recommend playing with shadow on low, and then the shadow draw distance to 200. Particles we're going to leave on high, Co uh, cloud is going to be set to ultra, I really don't notice much of a difference when these are set to low, unless there's a lot of smoke, then that's really the only situation where it affects your performance. P PIP is going to be disabled, we're not using mirrors or anything like that, or UAV feeds on our screen, so there's no need for picture in picture, so I'm just keeping that disabled for convenience, although it does improve performance when it is disabled, and those kind of things are available. Dynamic lights is basically only in effect at night from what I've understood because this just basically allows us to see more and more lights that the engine allows us to handle when it's nighttime. So sending it to ultra means that you'll see the maximum amount of lights in cities that the engine can handle and sending it to low will reveal less lights if that makes sense. Water reflections, everyone knows what that is. This is disabled because even though we're not even near the ocean, there is water underneath the terrain, and for some fucking reason, the water reflections are trying to be rendered when they're out of sight. Because if I said, and that that could be proved right here. Right now, it's I'm stable at uh, 57, 58 frames. Now it's going to 56, 57. So uh, that proves my theory that uh, water is underneath the terrain and it's trying to be rendering re reflections for whatever reason. So I'm pretty sure I'm not even within a kilometer of water. Yeah, I'm not, so. Anyway, going back. I'm not trying to ramble about everything, I'm just trying to help you guys understand what all these settings do and why I have them set to these things. I could honestly set my overall view distance and object distance lower. I could set it higher, but this is, I noticed that it starts to get a little choppy after a thousand view distance while recording. So. But because we're in a jungle, I could sp I could honestly enjoy playing this game at 500 view distance with 500, 500 uh, object draw distance. Even 750, but I'm trying to stress test here, and that 1000 and this uh, object draw distance are the two sweet spots right now that I'm testing with. Moving on. 
we're gonna go to and as you can see uh vsync is disabled some people keep that enabled. sometimes it's fun to play with it enabled it's weird it, uh, i don't know it's hard to explain but anyway moving on my bloom is set to 100 visual blur is set to 75 rotational blur i don't like rotational blur at all depth of field Set to 102, sharpen filter. I usually play with a, a sharpen filter, but it does hit performance. And when you're playing at this kind of resolution, there is almost no difference. I mean, I could, if unless I set it all the way up, then you could kind of see how everything's kind of like has white edges. I guess it's hard to explain. I guess you could just say it's sharper. But this is a good example. Look at the trunk of this tree. I don't know if the video captures it, but it's much blurrier without it. But I think that's more realistic. I have bad vision in real life, so blurry stuff is alright for me. Blurry edges anyway. <laughs> HBO AO is on. This basically adds the shadows, I think. Inside of objects and stuff like that. It, there's a better description of it, but I don't feel like going into it. FSAA is turned off because you'll notice a huge difference if you enable this, especially with ATOC on. So here it is. ATOC on. And now I went from like above 60 FPS or around 70 FPS down to like 30. This feels more like 20 or 10 though. Which is still crazy though on the, the settings that I have. What are we doing? Okay, we're gonna turn this off and see if this affects anything. Not really. Oh uh, yeah, it did. It, that affected my performance. Turning off the ATOC actually helped my performance a little bit. This is kind of an experiment kind of video, by the way, to show you guys how I kind of test stuff. I know some of you like to go really crazy into tech shit and like test it over and like restart the computer every time you change a setting, and but I don't really care that much. And this gives me pretty, you know, straightforward fucking results. You don't need to go really that insane. This is not a benchmarking program. It's just, you know, the results you get when you t change your settings are the results you'll get when you're playing. And now this is with FSAA turned off. Look at the huge difference. You can't even compare. This is running like butter right now. And when I turn it on, it's just it just hits like a fucking truck. I'll even turn it on to show you guys that even on 2x, it's still pretty bad. Look at that shit. It went down to like 40. It's just not bad, but when I'm playing, it feels like it's definitely less than 40. Maybe 30, 27, something like that. So I say it's not worth, don't use FSAA. PPAA, I don't know, I, I don't really care, I, I use it, but if you disable, is there a difference? Actually, yes, hmm, let's see what that looks like. Oh, even better, holy shit. This actually affects a lot. This actually feels like I'm not even recording right now. That's like the first time I could ever say that, that's crazy. Anyway, I know I'm dragging this video out. But I'm going to get into a firefight pretty soon. I just want to continue showing you guys some settings. You can skip ahead of the video, of course. If you don't give a fuck about any of this. But then again, why are you watching in the first place? But anyway. And it's a tropic filtering. I keep that on ultra at all times. Because if you set this to like low or disabled, textures will look really fucked up at certain angles. So, And I don't really notice a performance increase. Look at that. The FPS doesn't even change. Yeah, so just set it to ultra. Don't be a bitch. Unless you have a piece of shit fucking video card, then, you know. I guess disable everything you can. But for now, look at this. I'm planning on like 200% sampling. This is crazy. Anyway. Let's get fucked up by the AI. I'm not using any... I don't think I'm using any AI mods. Just some client-side stuff. Get my, my squad back. to follow me. Understood. Advance with me, rather. So like I said, there's about four to five insurgent fire teams out here waiting to ambush us. And, uh, I'm using just a couple client-side mods. Are you with me? Yeah. Got some depth of field, but it's not that noticeable. If you set it too high, then the optics will get fucked up, or the lights at runways will become really blurry. So the depth of field setting is something you gotta mess with a lot. This feels like an ambush spot, actually. 
And I don't remember where I placed them, and even if I did, this is a dense jungle, so... Oh. Contact. Right. Oh, my guy's shooting. Fire up here. Hostile down! Rifleman, 75 meters. Front! Machine gunner, 100 yep. meters. Left! I can't see him though. Man, 100 meters. Front! Look at this. Man, it's running so smooth. Holy shit. There's a decent amount of AI in this. Is 32 AI? Maybe more? Alright. I just lost the guy over here. Sit rep. Grid 1, 2, 8, 1, 0, 3. Oh, just lost another one. We got a man down. Hostile down. Shit, I see him. My first fight in the jungle, to be honest, and I gotta say, it's pretty disorienting. Like, even though I'm the one who placed all these units, I have no idea where the Need enemy is. Scratch one. So I'm trying to be careful in the foliage, keep myself concealed. Find some bad guys. All right, they're definitely gonna be coming down that okay, hill. Let's go. Yep, there's one. Yeah. The sounds are amazing. Man, the new vanilla sounds are so fucking good. Like, I'm still so used to the beta. And it is such a good difference. Like, I don't need a sound mod anymore. It's great. Even though JSRS is amazing. It does hit performance. Maybe I'll go back to JSRS. I don't know. It's awesome. Go! I'll cover! Cover me! Alright. They're definitely not all dead yet. There's no way. Put a voice over here. Yep. Okay, let's go. Where are you, you bastard? Someone by that log. It's kind of cool. Like I just love this new uh, atmosphere. Oh shit! He's in the fucking bush. I got it. Wow. I'm so lucky that he started reloading. Holy shit. Oh man. But yeah, this is running pretty good. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm running at like running pretty good settings right now. In fact, oh is that a guy? Yeah. face. Alright, let's uh, bump up the settings. I know you guys don't really give a fuck about what's going on, but I just want to see how this will run. Objects are high. Wow. Did not even affect FPS in the menu. Sure. Ultra will definitely hit. Whether it shows in the menu or not, it's definitely going to hit performance. It's still pretty playable though. That step's close. It's friendly. Dead guy. 
Someone's yelling up in those woods. Oh, I saw some something over here. Nope. Engage at will. I know I heard a voice up there. Hostile down! Injured! Alright. Anyway, I don't want to drag this video out too long though, so I'm gonna have to go into Rambo mode. Been doing that already. Moving! I wanted to see if he was a medic. This is area clear, but I'm This game does look pretty nice though. On this, these settings while recording, and a Yeah, this looks amazing. I've never really been in the jungle before. I've been to Honduras, I've been to Jamaica. Mexico, but this, this kind of reminds me of Honduras, actually. This actually reminds me a lot of Honduras. Alright, well, apparently we're still taking contact, so... But yeah, these, these jungles remind me a lot of uh, Honduras. Really get to see the jungle of Jamaica that much. I'm covering, go. Cover me. All right, I guess that's it. Let's actually, see camera mode. So bad guys running around in the woods. Oh, yep, we got one over here. I guess you could consider this a stress test also with the thermals. Thermal stress test. I think I got some guys up here. There's a whole fire team up here, it's just totally unalert. Vanilla AI is so fucking stupid, I swear to god. This guy's stuck in a tree. I think the vanilla AI's ability to hear gunshots and like investigate shit is really bad so you kind of need AI mods so VCOM AI is my favorite ASR AI is my second favorite if you don't use VCOM ASR AI is a must yeah, anyway that is that I believe the stress test was somewhat ed educational or en enjoyable to watch at least and uh, and I am actually blown away by how well this is running cover me this is definitely like solid 60 FPS. Okay, let's go! Crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be doing some instructional videos pretty soon. Don't worry about it.